Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video, man. Today we're playing some more Modern Warfare 3 and we're going to be using the brand new Jack Etten double barrel kit. Basically, it's a double barrel SMG. I haven't seen any gameplay with this, so I don't really know how it works, if it's any good, but it seems pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. So we have the AMR9 SMG. Then you go to the conversion kit. Boom. Now it has two barrels. What the hell? Let's try it out real quick. What the frank, bro? Double the kills, bro. All right, let's get to a game and uh, try it out, man. Let's see what's going on. Oh my God. My aim is still bad, by the way. Still not used to this controller. Aim's still gonna be pretty dookie, but it's all right. GG's. Oh my god, I can't believe I got the kill. No way. I think burst is definitely the move for this weapon. Unless you're uh close. Oh GG's. Yeah, GG's. 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 I'm not doing it, don't care. I'm an idiot. I don't know why I'm shooting this like a brand new gun. I forgot I have all my attachments. What am I bro? What am I doing? I freaking hate trying to come up with freaking classes because I don't know, bro. Like I genuinely have no idea what I'm doing. But just way too much stuff, like way too much. It's overwhelming. Alright. Finally got some attachments on our gun. Oh no way. Damn, bro, I'm getting smoked. It's pretty good, honestly. You probably make it better if you actually know how to build guns. Yeah, better aim. Oh my god, I can't control that recoil. What the freak? Got him. Coward. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was going to kill me. Wow. No way. There's actually no way, right? What the hell? Nice. Nice. <laughs> is the season reloaded out already? Is that what this new update is? It is, huh? Because Rio is out. Oh, interesting. All right, cool, cool, cool. This gun's pretty good. The recoil is kind of crazy, which, I mean, is expected. Of course, you have two freaking barrels. I like going this route, but it's a bit risky. Like, people always go this route. Yeah, GG's. Fucking loser. Oh, my God. Wow, my aim sucks. Oh, my God. On the Apex subreddit, they were saying linear is harder to harder to use, but it's higher skill selling. Is that true? This gun is really nice. We need more fun operator mods. Or not operator mods. See, that's what I'm thinking of operator mods. We need more fun. Um, I forgot what these things are called. What are they called? I know they aren't called operator mods. Basically, we need more, more like unique ones, just like operator mods from Black Ops 4. That's what I'm thinking of. Like a double barrel for this is sick. It's something that just makes a gun burst. That's fucking lame. Yeah, this is probably gonna suck on this map, bro. There's a lot of long range engagements, bro, and uh, this is not this gun strong suit, at least not with this setup I have. Oh god, we're playing against sweats. We might be. Oh my god, we might be. Oh my fuck. 
This fake ass CDL shit, bro. Everyone using MCWs. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. You literally have to jump shot, or you also just get fucking melted instantly. MCW? Of course. Why not? Why would we use anything else? Can you fucking move, teammate? You stupid. Ooh, breathe. Namaste. Namaste, man. I told myself on this video I'd be more positive, you know? No one wants to hear complaining about damn Call of Duty over and over again. Like, we get it, bro. We fucking get it. But, like, bro, like, you see what the fuck I'm playing? Like, come on now, bro. Last night, I started playing Resident Evil, the OG, for the very first time, bro. MCW, MCW. Bro, you look at the kill feed. MCW, 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 MCW. Like, bro. Yeah, I've been playing Resident Evil, bro. The OG, bro. I really started. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of busting, bro. Kind of excited to play it again. Thinking about making a video on it, you know, like a video like playing Resident Evil for the very first time. I know, like, I like watching people play Skyrim for the very first time. So I know, like, if, if Resident Evil is their favorite game, they might like to see someone experience it for the very first time, you know, especially for such an old ass game that, like, I feel like almost everybody's played already. But then I was like, I don't know, because I already kind of like completed. I didn't complete a whole lot, like, at all. But like, there's a good chunk in the beginning that I kind of completed already. And so it's like, I don't want to restart from the beginning. But at the same time, if someone wants to watch a somebody playing for the first time, they don't want to see them start like a little bit past the beginning. Like that shit is ass. But at the same time, if I go back and restart the game, isn't it pretty much the same thing? Like, I already know what I gotta do. I don't know, but that game's fun, at least so far. Usually I don't like those type of games, like inventory management, you know what I'm saying? Like, seems like there's a lot of BS moments, I feel like, you know, you got limited ammo and there's like 50 enemies going at you and it's kind of like annoying. So usually I never really messed Resident Evil too much. The whole re reason I started actually was because I got a shirt, a Resident Evil shirt for my, for my, uh, for my birthday. A Resident Evil classic shirt, it's pretty, it's, it's badass, I'm not gonna lie, it's badass. It has like the classic zombie and the dog on it. Shit's flame. And I was like, bro, I need to try this game out again. Fuck you, Dave. Oh my god, somebody got a swarm. Bro, look at that. It's like mosquitoes. Oh my god. They're up here. Way more of a swarm than Black Ops 2. <laughs> Oh, there they go. I don't think he got very many kills with it. Which does suck, I think. <laughs> oh, yeah. Also, apparently there's been, like, a lot of X Defiant stuff going on where, like, people were able to download the game on P on the PlayStation Store, supposedly. And then also um, something about you could do the same on Xbox or PC or something like that. I don't know if these are true. Oh, brother, we got Kingpin on the other team. You guys are freaking sweat. So I'm assuming X Defiant's gonna be dropping soon. I don't, like I said, I don't know if these rumors are true, but I've been seeing that a lot. Pretty interesting. They did say they will not hot drop the game. So, oh, they moved. I just realized they moved to hard points. I've been noticing that, but I haven't really like connected it in my brain. Like, oh, they moved all the hard points. But yeah, hopefully X Defiant's good though. I haven't, I, I never actually played the beta. I'm kind of, I'm really glad I didn't though, because seeing as how long it took them to get their shit together to actually drop the game, it's like actually insane. There's no way, what the fuck? Hello, MCW, of course, why? Pfft. Come on now, what am I talking about? MCW. MCW wins all gun. Literally GG's. Doing all right, my aim's getting better. I'm still, I still feel like um, not to my maximum with this controller yet. Like, I don't feel like I could go sweaty nerd mode. You know what I mean? I'm still kind of like only in like casual mode. I feel improvement from yesterday for sure. I do want to play with the aim response curves a bit. Still. Like I said someone was saying linear might be the best, but it's harder to get used to. I don't know if that's true or not. Wait. 
Am I tripping? I thought you couldn't get that skin for MW3 weapons. What the fuck? Wait, I thought those were for MW2 weapons. Are you cheating, Mr. Sir? Are you a fucking cheater? Yeah, I thought Bioluminescence is only for MW3 weapons. What the fuck? All right, guys, well, that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you liked the video, please do a like. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And I will talk to you guys later. Peace.